Everybody doing? Good. Well, it's uh, obviously a huge weekend this past weekend for our program and, uh, and the players and uh, just a really special win at Memphis. Uh, win number six on the season, which was significant for the program. And, uh, you know, to do it at Memphis, which, you know, I was looking just after the game and I'm kind of glad I didn't know all this but going in. I mean, I think they're 30 and three in their last 33 home games. They've won 17 straight in November at home. Correct me if I'm wrong, it's like a 13 straight conference play at home. So uh, I'm glad I didn't know that before kickoff. Uh, but uh, obviously a very good team at home and, uh, and, and, a, and a solid football program. And so uh, for our players to go out and play the way they did, um, and yeah, you can you can critique it and say that you know maybe it shouldn't have got come down to the wire, but uh, just you know what a great win, uh, a great final drive in the fourth quarter uh, by our offense, uh, just an incredible job there on the two point play uh, defensively, uh, getting the stop to, to win the game, and just uh, you know a special locker room, you know it was a great experience, and so great weekend last weekend, we celebrated that, done with that. We're worried about one thing, and that's Navy. You know, one and zero this week, and it's uh, it's going to be a challenge. Uh, you know, we saw Navy early in the year on film, uh, and they've just it looks like a completely different team. Uh, you know, watching them against Tulsa, watching them against Cincinnati, uh, watching them against UCF, uh, just a, an extremely physical football team, a very very good defensive football team, uh, very good running attack. You know, it's going to be senior day for them, 25 seniors, I think, that they're going to recognize on Saturday. So, you know, I, you know, maybe maybe the toughest road challenge that we've had all year. And so, you know, we're going to have to have a great week of practice. Uh, you know, we're going to have to have, you know, a, a, great, uh, a great job just from a game plan standpoint, both sides of the football and on special teams to, uh, you know, to, to get ready for this. And uh, got a great challenge. But, you know, the kids are really excited. Uh, you know, they're excited about uh, the opportunity. Uh, excited to go up there. You know, two years ago we got absolutely humiliated up there, uh, and um, you know a lot of those guys that uh, you know were on that team, you know, are hungry to you know go up there and, and you know play better, you know, have a shot to uh, possibly get a win. So, uh, big ball game for us. <clears throat> Coach, is there anything different about this Navy team, or is it, it, it what you would normally see on film against a Navy team? And also, with only two wins, what what do you think other teams generally have done to succeed against them? Well, I think uh, the things that stand out to me are, you know, I think defensively uh, they are probably better than what we faced last year. I think they're similar defensively to what we faced two years ago up there, and. I'm just comparing that to what I see them doing to other people versus what they did to us two years ago up there. Um, and that may be better overall defensively than that group. Uh, you know, I think 54 is, you know, one of the better defenders in our league, if not, uh, you know, he may be the player of the year in our league defensively. Um, so, you know, very strong right there. I think they've improved drastically since the beginning of the year. So, um, they're not a two-win football team. I mean, anybody, you know, I, I'm sure the common lay person that doesn't watch any film or study anything or really look at anything, they can have an opinion there. But anybody has any common sense and looks at the film knows what this is, and this is a good football team. Mike, kind of a big picture question for you. As you look back on the journey you've been on this past three years and where things were when you stepped on foot on campus for the first time and the condition of the program then versus where it is right now and being bowl eligible, what does it mean to you in this program to been a big, be able to have accomplished that at this point? Well, I think just, um, you know, it's, you knew, you knew what you're getting into to a degree and um, you made some goals uh, there when you started on this thing. And it's just been, it's been a tough two years. I mean, the first two years were, I mean, even, even having been through similar situations before, it was very difficult. Now, I am grateful for the assistant coaches that have been on this journey with us. I'm grateful for these kids. Uh, the ones that are in the program now uh, have done everything we could ask of them, and they're the reason for the turnaround. And it's, uh, so it was a special day Saturday, but uh, the more special thing is just, you know, they've already turned their attention forward to this next game because they just kind of adapted that kind of mentality. And that's, that's, that's winning culture. That's, and, and just the way they conduct themselves. I know we're gonna have a good practice today. Uh, I know we'll go up there and fight on Saturday. Uh, you know, we'll see if we're good enough, but we're, you know, we're going to go fight. Um, 
it's just it's very rewarding because you know you, you start this with a plan and a vision and you kind of you know map out how you want to do things and to you know to see it culminating in becoming a, a program that is a legitimate contender and that's uh, that's what we wanted to build here now we're not done yet we're not finished yet this is not the finished product we still have a in my opinion we still have a ceiling that's much higher than what we're playing right now uh, but you know we're doing some really positive things on the field and it's again this Saturday is going to be a, a, a great barometer I mean it's uh, this is going to be a, a huge challenge for our team this Saturday you know so if we can figure out some way to go up there and and pull it off I think it would be a significant win for us coach can you this is not your first rodeo against uh, Navy, can you talk about the kind of discipline that you have to have defensively against a team like Navy? Well, I think we have to have it in all three phases uh, because, you know, you look at the film, this team that we're facing, you know, they just, they play so hard. I mean, it's, you know, we kind of pride ourselves each week, you know, we're going we're gonna to play with more effort and more physicality than our opponent. Now, if that, that's going to be a steep challenge this week because this team plays as hard as any we've faced. This team has the most physicality of any team we've faced to this point. And so, um, and, and they operate just so, so clean. Uh, it's going to require tremendous discipline in all three phases. And I think, you know, especially defensively as you, as you talk, um, you know, it's, it's the thing I enjoyed, you know, at the Citadel. You know, it's, it's one misfit and it's a big play. And, you, you know, you're going three yard, three yard, three yard, somebody to death, and then they're going to misfit a run, and all of a sudden it's a touchdown. And so that's, that's the challenge is, you know, you, you cannot make mistakes. You've got to, uh, you know, the whole do your job and trust your teammates to do their job mentality. I mean, it's to the extreme this week. Um, and it's, uh, you know, these weeks like this, I promise you, the defensive coaches, they don't sleep this week. I mean, I'm, I'm just telling you, they, it is, you know, it's every waking moment looking at every piece of information, piece of film from, whatever year it is, you know, trying to figure out exactly how they're going to try to attack us and make sure that we're prepared for it and get the, get the kids prepared for it. That's the, that's the big thing. It doesn't matter how much, you know, us as coaches are familiar with the style of offense, the kids are the ones that have to play the game. And so, uh, the, you know, it's, it's going to require, you know, uh, an extreme amount of discipline in doing your job. Coach, how will last year's game defensively help you guys this year? Because obviously we've seen – Big numbers from Navy at East Carolina last year. The defensive effort was very good. How does that help you this year? Well, I think, you know, because the guys that are playing, they all played last year. You know, it's uh, – I think it gives them confidence. I think it, uh, the other thing is, you know, the scheme that we're in, uh, even though there wasn't a ton of success the first year in it, it's still the third year in a similar scheme against Navy. And so, you know, the, the kids know what they're doing. You know, that's the – you know, we've been working on it, you know, periodically throughout the, throughout the fall. You know, we spend a little bit of time each week working on this game plan. Um, but still the guys, they go out there and, and last, you know, Sunday night, they just, okay, I, I remember this, I get this. You know, their eyes are, you know, closer to being in the right place. And so you have a little bit of a head start over most game weeks, uh, you know, going into Tuesday with it. So I just think just the, the familiarity and, you know, just some confidence that, uh, you know, we can, we can go out there and compete uh, against this offense. Coach, going back to the, the final drive regulation for you guys, where y'all took the lead, obviously a great drive. What's kind of that balance of y'all get down to the one, you, you have to score to take the lead, yeah. uh, but you also want to take time off the clock? Like, what are those well, conversations like? Uh, you know, going into the game, we knew Memphis was going to be tough inside the 10-yard line. I mean, they gave them fits all year. I mean, they, they are a big, strong front. They have such length at the linebacker level. Uh, and then just, you know, what they were doing down there was kind of feast or famine. Uh, and, you know, we'd struggled a couple times to get in, you know, kicking three short field goals, you know, earlier in the ball game. So at that point, the focus was more on just getting in. Uh, you know, it's, okay, let's run some time off. How, how are you gonna do that? You gonna take a loss on a play? Uh, you know, it's, so it's, it, it's tough when you get down there against a team like that. And so the balance to me was not much of a balance. It was get the score uh, and then trust our defense to try to get a stop. Mm -hmm. 
do you believe when you play three yards in a cloud of dust team like Navy that controlling the clock is even more important than on a normal week? Well, I think there's going to be fewer possessions. So, uh, you know, the, the key for us is we've got to try to get them off schedule. You know, we've got to, you know, if we can keep, if we can stay away from third and two and fourth and one, uh, you know, third and two and fourth and one against this team is going to be tough. You know, if we can get them in third and six, uh, you know, that's that's where you'll have more success. So I think the key for us is trying to to not let them, you know, stay on schedule. You got to try to get them off schedule early in the, you know, early in, on the early downs, first and second down. And if you can do that, you can have some success. Coach, the Pirate fans that welcomed you guys back at the airport, coming back from Memphis, just uh, how special was that? That was awesome. You know, it's, uh, you know, for our players, uh, that's the first time they'd ever experienced anything like that. You know, the, the only time I'd ever experienced anything like that was, you know, coming back from the national championship games, you know, you know stuff like that. So, um, so it was, it was special. And I tell you, it's, you know, to have the, as many people there, you know, we've, we've, we've have, we have some loyal fans. There's, there's a handful of loyal fans that are there every time we leave the airport and every time we get back, um, you know, and, and, and certainly, you know, we appreciate them. And, but to have, you know, the, the number, I mean, I don't, I don't know what the number was. I know it was a bunch. Uh, I know they were loud, uh, so I was, it was good to see the chancellor there right in the middle of them. But, uh, you know, that was a pretty special moment, uh, you know, for our staff and for our players. And, you know, the players, you know, the seniors like Bruce Bivens, I mean, you know, he was talking about just, you know, what a thrill it was for him. There's a, there's a, a kid that's been here for five years uh, and is a very good football player and is a big part of, you know, our turnaround. And for him to be able to experience that, um, you know, certainly a special moment. Uh, looking at Navy, how much of a concern is the fact that they had a, a bye week to really yeah. study you guys and to, to, to heal up? Because I know they had a physical game versus Notre Dame. Yeah, I appreciate the conference doing that for them. So, um, yeah, I mean, especially coming off the game against Notre Dame, where, I mean, I'm saying Notre Dame's, uh, you know, big, strong physical defense, and, and, and you know, had, I'm sure they were beat up coming out of that game. So uh, it's, it's a big advantage for them. You know, they were able to practice against our scheme for two straight weeks. Uh, their coaches had, you know, plenty of time to uh, game plan us, and it's not like you're sitting there. Yeah, you know, I looked at their coaching staff, and it's like, you know, 24 years in Navy, 22 years in Navy, 14 years in Navy, and you know, we know several of those guys, and and they're really, really good at what they do. And you give them that kind of time to prepare, and I have no doubt we're going to see something that we've never seen before Saturday. You know, they're going to have something that will, you know, just throw a wrench in everything that we have have not been able to prepare for. And so uh, we just got to make sure that we, you know, have everything buttoned up as tight as we can. And uh, we're going to have to do a great job in game with adjustments. Hey, Coach, the importance to get out to a lead every week is big, but how big is it? Can you stress how big that is this week? Again? Yeah, I mean, that's, the, you know, the against a team like that, that's, that's critical. You know, because if uh, if they get out to a lead and they can hold on to the ball and limit your possessions, it puts you in a tough spot. So if you can get a lead and uh, you know continue to drive the ball well and get in the end zone, uh, then uh, you know that's that's the way you can have have some success. And so uh, it's it's going to be a challenge, but that's you know how how effective we can be, especially early in the ball game offensively, will be even important. Anything else, coach? Okay, thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks, appreciate it. <laughs>